Hi, welcome to our reading for June 2018. Now remember it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which sign symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We are all spiritual. We are all psychic. We are all children of God, but we're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. This could clarify the past. It could shed light into the future or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody so we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. If you want a more in-depth look at your month, check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos. And if you get a chance, try to check out the musical playlist that I put below. See if there's something personal for you in the lyrics, in the music, or just enjoy the tunes. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a beautiful month. I hope this reading is helpful. I love you so much, and I'll see you in a moment. Leo, welcome to our reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's begin. Let's get clarity on the energies coming through in June 2018. Now the random shuffle Pandora song that came through for Leo was Stand By Me by Otis Redding. So I'm going to put that song below for you guys. Let's begin the reading. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. We're going to start with one card from the Life Purpose Oracle. Let's get clarification on life purpose, career, day-to-day -day activities, and how you can best place your energy in June. One card for Leo. And freedom is coming through for Leo. So feeling free in a situation, feeling like you're getting out of the mud, out of the ruckus, out of what's tying you down and feeling more alive. So you have the freedom of choice. So pay attention to your own inner guidance system, your gut feelings. I feel like it's a small tweak, a small change that makes a big difference. So you are free to do what you choose. Maybe you need to ask yourself how you really feel about a situation. This could be work or what you do every day. Maybe there needs to be a readjustment in your schedule so you can do something that makes you feel alive, that makes you feel like you're flying free. So there's dolphins here, so that makes me think of a playful energy. Maybe you need to play a little more, get out of the house, do something fun for you. Are you having fun? You should be having some fun in June. It's a good time to get out and feel alive. I don't know why I just thought of uh, like six flags. So maybe there's an amusement park or something like that. I know that's not work related, but maybe there's something fun you can do outside. Maybe go to a concert, see a show, um, hang out with your friends. Um, who makes your spirit light? You know, who do you laugh with? Spend time with those people, those family members, those friends. Maybe you need to do something just for you. What makes you feel free and alive? So you're free to do what you choose. So there's a choice to be made in June. Feel it out. Maybe you have to weigh the pros and the cons on something or maybe just decide. Walk down that path and see where it leads. Sometimes we go a direction and a detour arrives, but the adventure comes on that detour. So be open to a new adventure coming through. Um, make a decision, make a choice about something, do something about it. So I want to say stop procrastinating or waiting till the last minute to do something. Maybe you need to do something a little bit every day and that goes a long way. So it could be just a tiny adjustment that you need to do um, that makes a big difference in your world. Um, there's also an ocean here. 
So that makes me think of emotion, the ebb and the flow of something. Don't bottle something up. Maybe the ocean, the salt air is actually beneficial for Leo. Maybe you're going on a trip, taking a walk on the beach, something by water. And there's also a sunset. It could be a sunrise as well. So maybe there's a beginning and an ending and there's always another day. So do what you can do today. Don't try to do everything at once. Do what you can. What is around you that is open? Which doors are open? What is a possibility today? Start small. Sometimes when we have to start, the big picture is overwhelming or the big project is overwhelming, but one chapter, one thing that we do small gets the ball rolling. I'm getting that like, uh, snowball energy. So something that starts small and gets bigger. So what do you want to keep going back to? What do you want to keep building? Um, which thoughts and ideas keep popping up that you haven't done yet? Maybe write down your ideas. All right, let's move along. Let's get another card. Clarity on freedom. Maybe you feel stuck somewhere, stuck in something. Um, there needs to be a readjustment in how you approach someone or something. Maybe there's a different way through, um, a different way to approach something so you get a different reaction in some cases. I keep seeing a book. So maybe you're reading something in a book or you need to write a book. Maybe you're an author or write down your ideas, maybe bullet points, maybe a title. Um, I want to say like a presentation, um, maybe a journal is important so you can write down your ideas as you go, or you can see something in front of you, like a schedule. I want to say like a calendar. So maybe you can rearrange something and actually schedule something in so you can do it. Maybe you need to schedule in some freedom. All right, let's move along. We're going to get a card from a brand new tarot deck that I just got. It's called the Vice Versa Tarot, and every card has two sides, so two perspectives on each card. This deck is gorgeous. So let's get clarification on freedom. You're free to do what you choose. Um, feel like this is not in somebody else's hands. It's in your hands. Maybe somebody else is waiting for you to make a decision. Maybe you're waiting on a decision by somebody else and it's time to take back your power. You know, do what you can do. Take the reins back in a situation. All right, let's get clarification for Leo. Energy is coming in June. And, ah, beautiful. We have the Ace of Cups coming through. So the gift of love is coming through for Leo. This is a brilliant new start. It's a gift. Open your arms and receive. Maybe there's help coming through for you. It's time to have gratitude and say thank you. Accept this offer of love. Um, this could be a new relationship. It could be falling in love. Um but it's starting, it's beginning something beautiful, romantic, new, exciting. It's something that you love to do. This could be a new career coming through or a new project that you start, something that you create. You're at the beginning stages. It could just be an idea right now, but I'm getting that once you get the ball rolling, you're gonna wanna keep going back to this thing. It's gonna fill your energetic body, your spiritual body, um, your emotional body. The ace of um, cups is emotions. So you're going to feel like you're this fountain flowing. You know, this energy is just moving through you. It's a gift of love. So this could be somebody offering you something that you love to do. Um, it could even be a new friendship coming into your world. But I want to say don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't offer too much in the beginning before you actually get to know that person or that situation. Head down the path a little bit and see where it takes you. Um, there's a dove here. So I feel like the dove represents the Holy Spirit, even Venus, love, um, the gift of love. 
There's something fulfilling here. There's something beautiful, romantic, and creative coming through. So on the back side, check that out. There's a little night coming here and it's nighttime as well. So maybe there's an offer coming to you. Um, when it's nighttime, things can be a little bit foggy. So things might not always be a might not always appear to be how they are. I hope that made sense. So, you know, wait for the change in the light, the change of the season for something to grow for you to learn more about something or someone first, you know. So, this is a start. It's something new. It's something that you love to do, something you're into. Um, I see all the lilies here. They're really beautiful. That makes me think of spiritual enlightenment as well. So, the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. So you have a Venus energy coming through. Maybe your Venus sign is important or somebody's somebody else's Venus sign. Um, I feel like there's romance here, but it's something new. Now, when something is new, it can feel overwhelming and exciting and also a little uncomfortable. So get to know more about this situation or this person. Pursue it further and see where it takes you. Um, the card's really beautiful. I keep hearing romance. So maybe there's romantic energy coming through. Maybe this is going on a date or just taking care of yourself, Leo, feeling sexy in your own skin, doing something beautiful for you. I mean, it's a new start. This could be even like a new haircut, you know, a new outfit that you buy and it makes you feel good. You feel sexy in your skin. So what can you do for yourself to take care of yourself, to put, um, you know, some food back on your plate? I want to say take care of yourself here and there might be somebody else coming through to help you as well. Maybe you're also helping or giving an offer to somebody else. So let's get clarification on the Ace of Cups and Freedom. You're free to do what you choose. We're going to get um, clarification from the Angel Tarot on the Ace of Cups and Freedom. A brand new start. It's a new beginning. Um, you know, it's... It's still at the beginning stages. Sometimes when an ace comes through, it's just a thought. It's just an idea and you need to take action on it for it to happen, for something to become and grow. So if this is you having the urge to call somebody, to text somebody, um, to speak up, I want to say speak up, send that text, send that invitation. Maybe this is an invitation coming to you. Um, let's see, let's get clarity for Leo. <laughs> well, here we go, Leo. So we have the lovers coming through. So there is definitely a relationship, a partnership, some sexy energy, some good time that you have with you and somebody else. The lovers doesn't always mean a romantic relationship. It's usually a decision that you're making and somebody else is making. Usually it's a union that comes together. So when the lovers comes through, try to see your situation through the other per person's perspective. You know, be true to yourself, but also consider the other person, where they're coming from. I feel like there's always your choice to connect to yourself, to connect to God, to connect to your own inner guidance system, to talk to your angels, to make decisions that are good for you. And the other person has free will as well. So, and there's also destiny and situations that happen around you and how you react to a situation. You can't control somebody else, how they feel, what they want to do, but you can discuss it and be open and I want to say work something out. So maybe there's a discussion happening in June. Maybe you're talking about your marriage or where your relationship is going. The lovers is major arcana six. This could also be a Gemini energy coming through. I feel like there's always a balance. There's your equal opposite coming through in June. So 
I mean, it could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be a, one of your children that you're working with, making a decision that's good for everybody in the situation, that works for everybody. So maybe what worked for you in the past, whether that was a past relationship or a past situation, is not working for you now, where you are now, and there needs to be a readjustment now that things change. You know, one relationship that you have with one person and what you went through is going to be totally different with a different person. So you have to readjust. You have to be, um, I want to say, open your heart, be honest with yourself, be honest with others, Leo. Um, I always feel there, like there's a yin yang, male, female, silver, gold kind of energy with the lovers. And there's also something I want to say threefold. Um, there's an angel here. It looks like, uh, Archangel Raphael. It says Raphael. So there's a healing energy coming through. Um, healing a relationship, healing a past argument or a situation you went through, and a new, like fresh new eyes to see a situation. So making choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments, and the power of love. So I just, I just thought of the song. Um, I'm your lady and you're my man. I'm going to put that song below. That was a weird one to pop up. So I'm going to put that song below for you guys. All right, it's time to make choices that involve your heart. Don't bottle up your emotions. Let something come to the surface. Be true to how you really feel about something. Um, don't try to control somebody else. Let somebody else make their own decision. Maybe somebody needs a little time to figure something out. I hear take a walk. <laughs> so maybe someone just needs to take a walk, work something out, work through something, and they're going to come back around when they're ready. Um, don't try to push a situation. Let it occur naturally. Let something naturally unfold. Um, I mean, the lovers, Leo, can be some, I'm getting like sexy energy coming through. So feeling good in your own skin, feeling good with somebody else. Who makes you laugh? You know, um, do something fun. I want to say start with yourself. Do something for yourself first because when you're, in your true authentic self, when you're taking care of yourself, when you feel good doing things that you love, the right energies are reflected back to you. So if you're getting a weird reflection or somebody's maybe, uh, I don't want to say attacking, but like coming at you with weird energy, just understand it's their own reflection of what's going on in their world and maybe don't take something personally. Sometimes we lash out on those around us, those closest to us when we're going through something, when we don't feel good, when we're having a bad day and, you know, the person we love the most gets the brunt of it and we don't really mean it. So, you know, if some, somebody's kind of coming at you. Maybe don't take it personally. Maybe they're just going through something. Allow some time. Be patient. And I want to say be a support there when they're ready. You know? So let's see. The lovers is beautiful. Making a decision involving your heart. Trusting your heart. Um, trusting when something doesn't feel right too. Trust that too, Leo. So let's get one more card. Clarification on freedom. I mean, the lovers can mean for some of you, you're leaving a relationship if it's not feeling right, you know, but I want to say, be honest about how you feel. Be honest with that person, especially if you love them. They deserve your honesty. So I want to say you're working something out though. You're going to make something work or there's something brand new coming into your world, a new way to see something, a new way to see a situation, or a brand new situation coming through that you have to start at square one and see where it leads you, you know? All right, let's see. We're going to get one more card. This is the Sacred Traveler Oracle Cards. These are brand new too. So let's get one more card to clarify the lovers, the Ace of Cups, and Freedom for Leo. There's a couple cards. One card for Leo. And fellow travelers is coming through. Support is all around you. So 
Maybe you do have a new support system coming in or more support around you than you even knew. Um, new help coming through for you. I see the peacock here. So maybe you need to be the peacock a little bit and stand out. Um, I hear like a talk piece. So maybe like a fancy pair of earrings or maybe I want to say like an interesting hair color. That's really random. Maybe some of you are thinking of dyeing your hair like fiery red or purple or blue or something like that. That just gave me chills. That's pretty cool. Maybe doing something to stand out a little bit. Leo, you go, You guys always have the awesome hair thing going on. You have an awesome beard or that mane that just sparkles and shines and stands out no matter what hair type you have. There's even if it's not your mane, it's your aura that stands out. So maybe there's something that you have that gets the conversation going, that gets somebody to say hello or, you know, give a compliment. Maybe that's somebody else and you start the conversation because something stands out about them. Um, I feel like there's somebody here from a foreign land. So maybe there's somebody uh, that you meet from a different part of the world, a different country, a different state something like that. Maybe somebody's coming to you, coming over to visit. Maybe you get a call from you know, old pal or somebody from your childhood. There's a rainbow here. So I feel like there's a whole spectrum of color, maybe different personalities coming through to help you. Support is all around you, fellow travelers. So maybe it's time to go somewhere. You know, go somewhere you've never been before. I feel like this could also be a location. Like you get a feeling about this place when you're there. Like you were supposed to go to this place, this environment. Um, so if you were thinking about going on a road trip or going to a certain country, something like that, where you've always thought about going there, maybe there's um, an energetic connection you have to that particular location. Maybe it's time to book that trip and you're going to meet somebody really cool when you go there. Um, or bring somebody along that you enjoy, you know, that you have a good time together. I want to say also in a new relationship, sometimes you don't really know somebody until you went, went on vacation with them, you know, until you take a road trip and, you know, things go wrong, things come out, you see how people are. People are different when they're away from their norm. So maybe that's important. All right, let's see. Fellow travelers... is support is all around you. You look at this card. Card meaning is be open to support and help from others. You don't need to do it alone. Sometimes that support comes from someone you least expect. If someone offers your help, accept it. That's how I feel with this card. Like you should open your arms and receive. Something's coming through that you're going to fall in love with. You know, whether it's an activity, an idea, an inspiration, a relationship, a person, whatever it is, you're going to love being around it or him or her. Um, I want to say so open your arms and say thank you. Trust that your life is guided. Unseen spirit travelers are helping you. Know that you are very loved in many ways, uh, in ways that you may not always directly experience. Sharing the journey means there is support all around you. Blessings are above, are above, are showering over your life. You are safe. Angels and spirit guides are real and their presence is near. They're only a thought away. they are messages from the creator and they've come with immense blessings and love. All is well. The sacred traveler wants you to know the fellow travelers are guiding and supporting you. That they love you deeply and profoundly. Be still and open to your heart to the messages and healing. They will come to you in soft breezes, rainbows, feathers that seem to magically appear. Sometimes they will come in the form of a stranger with a, me with a message. These signs let you know that you're going in the right direction and that all is unfolding exactly how it should. Messages from the creator come with immense blessings and love be open to receive love from others you are a healing loving force for others so love is coming into your world you know whether this is just loving yourself loving the things you're doing loving the people you are with love is all around you leo so open your arms and receive i love you so much 
I hope you have a beautiful June. I hope this reading was helpful for you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.